Noon is the unpredictable Hurricane Bertha. She has now regained her punch, shifted directions, and is barreling toward North Carolina. Her effects, of course, could be felt here in the Delaware Valley this weekend. Heavy rain and high winds are now lashing the Carolina coast as the revived storm spins closer to land. Now, earlier, Bertha's landfall was projected for South Carolina between Charleston and Myrtle Beach. That sent thousands of Myrtle Beach residents and vacationers fleeing inland this morning, as you see. Well, as folks fled Myrtle Beach, Bertha shifted gears again. As we said, she is now headed on course to make landfall later tonight nearer to Wilmington, North Carolina. That could put the worst effects northeast of Cape Fear. The massive storm is already causing wind gusts up to 64 miles an hour near Wilmington, North Carolina, and waves are pushing up to the boardwalks. As you see, thousands of folks evacuated. They spent the night in shelters. Here in Wilmington, North Carolina, many passed the time at a local school watching and waiting to see what Bertha will do next. And the winds are blowing. The surf is pounding as Hurricane Bertha moves closer to the Carolinas. Action News reporter Flora Posterero has been waiting it out on the Outer Banks. She joins us live on the action cam from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Flora. Well, Rick, the skies here in uh, North Carolina's outer banks are ominous. You can really feel the wind starting to pick up. It's been raining off and on all morning. Everyone is bracing for Bertha, waiting for her to lash out. The big concern here, beach erosion and coastal flooding. In Kill Devil Hills, Bertha scared away vacationers. A few brave souls were on the beach to watch the surf, and the beach patrol was on duty. Pool furniture was placed in the pool to keep them from becoming dangerous projectiles. To the north in the resort community of Duck, row after row of beachfront property all deserted. With the storm approaching, it isn't safe to stick around. However, these honeymooners from Washington, D.C. feel Bertha is full of hot air. Well, we got some tips from some locals about how to be safe about staying, and they didn't seem too concerned about the strength of the hurricane, so we decided to stick it out and see what happened. Hurricanes are old hat for the locals. They've seen so many come and go. They have no fear of Bertha and plan to stay put until she blows over. We've seen many of these storms come in years past, and this is just another one. <laughs> just another one? Yep. This is just part of life down here, I take it. Yeah, this, we'll probably have a couple more before the season's over with. And it doesn't scare you? Oh, not a bit. Not a bit. Now, just to give you some perspective, last year when Hurricane Felix was threatening the Outer Banks, it was hard to find any signs of life. Now with Hurricane Bertha, it's much easier to find businesses that are open. The residents here are prepared, but they are not going anywhere. I'm Flora Posterero, Channel 6 Action News in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. All right, Flora, thank you. Now for a look at how Bertha will affect us locally this weekend. Let's get the latest now from Dave Frankel and AccuWeather. David. Well, Rick, she's going to affect us with heavy rains, high winds. It's going to be a very, very nasty uh, 36 hours here in the Delaware Valley. Let's start by showing you where the storm is at the moment on the satellite picture. Here it is. It's Hurricane Bertha. 105 miles south of Wilmington, North Carolina, and you see her spinning there. Winds now have increased again to 105 miles an hour. So she's back to a Category 2 hurricane on a scale of 1 to 5. Moving to the north, picked up a little forward speed as well now, north at 13 miles per hour. AccuWeather says that the track that Bertha will take should be about like this. She'll make landfall somewhere along the Carolina coast, probably mid-afternoon, uh, somewhere around 2, 3 o'clock, and then by 6 o'clock should be slightly inland of Cape Hatteras uh, by about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, back out over the open water a little bit, just to the east of Norfolk, and then she'll come up over the Delmarva. By noon tomorrow, the closest approach to uh, the Delaware Valley, probably inland. New Jersey, so probably maybe about halfway between Atlantic City and Philadelphia. That's where we expect the center of the storm to pass, and that's why we are all in for some heavy rains and some high winds. Hurricane warning in effect now from north of Savannah, Georgia, to the North Carolina-Virginia border. There is a tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch in the area from the North Carolina-Virginia border to Chincoteague. The reason this is a warning and a watch is that the tropical storm conditions will get there before the hurricane conditions will. So a warning first and then a hurricane watch. Also, a flash flood watch in effect for the entire area. Eastern Pennsylvania, southern and central New Jersey, and all of Delaware. We could get several inches of rain out of the storm and winds could gust 
to 50 miles an hour or more. We'll take a closer look at the storm and, of course, the complete weekend forecast and the five-day from Mackey weather in just a few minutes. Monica? All right. Thank you, David. Well, as you mentioned, the Jersey Shore is one of many places bracing for heavy rain, stiff winds, and pounding surf in the next day and a half. And folks are trying now to protect their homes and themselves. Others seem to be waiting it out. Joe Torres live on the action cam now in Ventnor with the latest there. Joe? Well, good afternoon to you, Monica. Here on the beach in Ventnor, the conditions at the Jersey Shore, they are a changing, if you will. We started off the morning with a beautiful, beautiful morning here at the Jersey Shore. By late morning, the rain was coming down, and here we are early afternoon, and it's dry but dreary, very overcast. We were at the beach at high tide this morning. We're back now at low tide. Officially, it arrived about 20 minutes ago, 11.41 to be exact. The waves out there, they are frequent. They are choppy. The